All right, welcome back to the 14th annual Oktoberfest live from Atlanta Motor Speedway on the internet live at BigGreenEgg.com. Appreciate everybody tuning in today. Uh, my guest today, uh, Steak Shapiro from 790 The Zone here in Atlanta. A big radio guy out here, and uh, obviously we're in the backyard of the Falcons. Uh, your thoughts on the Falcons so far, their season, you know, everybody talks about the jinx with the uh, SI edition and the, the, you know, getting the front page. And right. It's all bad downhill from there. What, what are your thoughts? Well, I think it's been a, a horrible start for the Falcons. They're two and three. They're coming off the best record in uh, in the NFC last year, and then that horrible playoff loss to Green Bay. It's been tough. I mean, these people around here have been through a lot with the Falcons, and uh, you know they had a really rough early schedule. They had uh, Chicago on the road. They had Tampa on the road. Uh, you know, that's a couple of tough places to win. And they had Green Bay in their building. They had Philadelphia, and they were out in Seattle. So it's been a tough first five games. Doesn't get that much easier. Tomorrow they got Cam Newton, and they got then they got uh, Detroit, who may be undefeated. They got two more with New Orleans. Got one with Tampa. You got to go to Houston and play the Texans. But you know the NFL, it's so cyclical year to year. There's six new teams in every year and six new teams out of the playoffs. You hope the Falcons are one of those six out this year. Yeah, it's been pretty neat to watch. I'm a Dolphins fan, and yeah. how embarrassing I'm sorry. is that? I'm sorry, is that, man. That's hard. How, how embarrassing terrible. is that this Dolphins, year? Yeah, Dolphins are terrible. Is man. it the coach at this point? Well, yeah, the organization. I had Reggie Bush signed. He really didn't do anything for him. And they got a lame duck coach. Tony uh, Sperano is going to get fired, but not till the end of the year. There's just nothing dynamic about them, you know? They're just one of the most nondescript franchises. Nobody's going to games in Miami. It's a bad situation. Andrew Luck, you like him from Stanford? You better like him a lot. He could be your quarterback next year. <laughs> you know, Henning's not doing the job everybody thought he was doing. He was kind of thrown in the position at first, but, you know. Yeah, Pennington was okay there a few years yeah. ago. Uh, you know, yeah, Pennington's a lot like Matt Ryan, not flashy. Doesn't throw the deep ball, but very, very solid, smart quarterback. When they lost him, they really lost a lot. All right, let's uh, switch gears a little bit, actually, at the racetrack. Uh, yeah, the egg. We got uh, uh, the Eggtoberfest going on right this is now. It's awesome. I've never been before. And when you think of sports, you think of tailgating and all that, and that is what this bad boy will do. You get the mini, and oh my gosh. Are you what serving is, us anything under uh, here or I'm not? I'm not. Unfortunately, I don't have any, I don't have any food for you. Oh my God. I haven't eaten anything all day yet. Are you yet. serious? I'm, I'm looking at this place, and I'm Smelling going, the food. oh, it's amazing. It's just dangling. It's like having a beautiful woman <laughs> like uh, dangling in front of you and being told that you can't touch. Yeah, exactly. Even if you're single. Yeah, no, that's a hard, that's, <laughs> that's a hard thing. Uh, yeah, this is a great event. I've, I've sampled about 30 different uh, egg recipes and, uh, and great sample size. See, I'm a guy who likes to eat smaller portions of a ton of different things. And uh, the great thing is, is the portion sizes. I've had turkey sliders and I've had pulled pork and I've had a ton of smoked sausage and little mini cheese flatbreads and everything else. I mean, just a great array of stuff. The egg holds the flavor better than anything else. That's why people are so passionate about it. Just, uh, you know, really, really a great event and a perfect day for it as well. This is perfect fall weather in the South, football weather. Play later today. Bama plays tonight. A lot of eggs going to be fired up around the South. Real quick, I want to talk. You do a lot with chefs. Uh, Kevin Rathbun, you guys do some yep. pregame stuff here locally for Atlanta and the Falcons. Talk about that and where we can well, find yeah, more information. Well, Kevin Rathbun is probably the premier chef in Atlanta. He uh, owns the two top restaurants, Rathbun's and Kevin Rathbun's Steak. And he beat Bobby Flay in uh, Iron Chef about three, four years ago. So he's our top chef. He loves cooking on the Big Green Egg. For the Falcons pregame show, Kevin and I will pick the opponent, for instance, Green Bay last week, and we called Smoke the Competition. We did Green Bay Brats. And uh, in a few weeks, we'll do Jambalaya for New Orleans. Tomorrow, we're doing pulled pork sandwiches for Carolina. Kevin's great. Rathman's, uh, you can follow him at uh, rathmans.com or at Kevin Rathman. Look for him at Big Green Egg yep. where we're watching this.